In the late 1990s, the music world saw the rise of an extraordinary talent with an incredible voice that would forever change the landscape of hip hop, R&B, and music as a whole. This voice belonged to Lauryn Hill, an incredible talent whose rise to stardom was equally meteoric as it was groundbreaking. As a key part of the Fugees, Hill's mix of biting rap and emotional singing propelled the group to huge heights but it was her transition to a solo career that truly showed her unique artistry. Her debut record, The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill, solidified Hill as a musical icon. It shattered records and challenged genre boundaries as audiences worldwide fell in love with her style. So it comes as a huge shock that she's relatively unheard of now. Despite this unparalleled success, Hill's presence in the music world soon began to decline. This disappearance from the spotlight sparked questions and intrigue. What happened to Lauryn Hill? Why did such a powerful figure retreat from the spotlight during the height of her career? Even today, many people still question what caused this huge shift from fame to relative obscurity. Let's take a look at some of the reasons why. To truly understand Miss Hill's disappearance from the spotlight, let's take things back to the huge success of her original album. When The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill was released in 1998, it was a defining moment in musical history. Commercially, it was hugely successful. The record debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 and sold over 12 million copies worldwide. But it wasn't just this incredible commercial success that made it a monumental album. It was also the record's significant impact on the music industry and listeners alike. The album was a harmonious blend of neo soul and hip hop. It captivated audiences with its raw, reflective lyricism and cutting edge sound. Lauren's ability to weave her personal life into themes that everyone could relate to struck a deep chord. The album's lead single, Do Wop That Thing, shot to the top of the charts. It soon became a global anthem for self-respect and authenticity. On tracks like X Factor and To Zion, she gave a sharply honest look at love and motherhood. This album broke entirely new ground in the R&B and hip hop narratives. Even the critics couldn't deny its sheer power. The album gained unanimous praise, sweeping five Grammy Awards. These included Album of the Year, Best R&B Album, and Best Female R&B Vocal Performance. It seemed like everyone agreed the album was an example of Hill's unique artistry and her innovative ability to mix genres. Even after its release, the influence of the miseducation of Lauryn Hill went far beyond its original release. It paved the way for other musical artists to blend genres and express vulnerability in their music. Artists like Rihanna, Beyonce, Kanye West, and many others were all inspired by Hill's approach to songwriting and production. The album created a space where emotional honesty and musical innovation could coexist. So it's pretty clear. Hill's debut solo album didn't just show her sudden rise to fame. It changed the musical landscape forever, leaving a clear mark on the industry and shaping the future of neo-soul and hip-hop. So what happened? Well, a number of things. Despite the album's phenomenal success, Lauren faced a series of personal and professional challenges. These issues eventually forced her to withdraw from the spotlight. The transition from a member of the band The Fugees to a solo superstar put her under intense public scrutiny. This pressure was something she found increasingly difficult to deal with. Her discomfort with fans became more and more apparent as she began to limit her public appearances. Previously, she was known for delivering electrifying performances and an unbeatable media presence. However, as she started to move away from the spotlight, fans felt surprised and concerned. She became reluctant to take part in the traditional music scene, including award shows and promotional events. It was clear that Hill began to feel uncomfortable with the industry's expectations. Whatever appearances she did make, she often addressed the personal and spiritual journey she was undertaking. If this change in her public persona wasn't bad enough, there was more bad news to come. She turned down several significant roles in major Hollywood movies. Lauren rejected offers to star in classics like The Matrix, Charlie's Angels, and The Bourne Identity. This was more than simply a career choice. It signaled her deeper unease with the trappings of fame. As her public appearances declined, so did her musical output. The pressures of fame, coupled with the demands of her personal life, began to weigh heavily on Hill. In the rare media appearances she made, 
Hill spoke openly about the struggles of balancing her career, personal life, and motherhood. This challenge of balancing a sense of normality while navigating the demands of fame began a key part of her life during this time. But that was just the tip of the iceberg. Her personal life, particularly with Bob Marley's son, Rohan Marley, was a crucial part of her journey. It played a vital role in dictating her career path. Their relationship began in the mid-1990s, and like many celebrity relationships, fans and the media alike closely followed the pair. This added another layer of scrutiny to Hill's life. To many people, their relationship was intense. When the pair's children were born, it coincided with Hill's retreat from the public eye. Many people saw this as symbolizing her desire to focus on her personal life and family. However, Marley and Hill's relationship wasn't without its controversies. The couple's complex dynamic was matched by the stresses of living in the public eye. This presented significant challenges for both Marley and Hill. Her role as a mother and partner while managing her soaring career was a delicate balancing act. To top it off, she had to do it all while navigating hugely intense media attention. To add to these difficulties, Hill also faced significant legal issues. In particular, she faced charges of tax evasion. In 2012, she was charged with failing to file federal income tax returns for several years. The courts claimed she hadn't reported more than $1.8 million in income between 2005 and 2007. Despite her success and in income from her musical and acting careers, including royalties from her solo album and her work with the Fugees, she didn't file her tax returns for these years. As a result, in 2013, she was sentenced to three months in prison. This was followed by three months of home confinement with electronic monitoring. By this time, the number had risen from 1.8 million to 2.3 million in undeclared income. It came from her failing to file tax returns for five years. On top of her prison terms, the court ordered her to serve a year of suspended release and pay a fine of $60,000. She was also forced to fully cooperate with the IRS, which included paying outstanding interest and penalties on her tax obligations. But during her court hearing, Lauren wasn't exactly apologetic. She compared her tax situation to slavery. She expressed her strong views on economic systems and societal pressures. Her legal challenges and controversial relationship with Marley were key to Hill's retreat from the public eye. They contributed to the complexity surrounding her career and public persona at this time. For fans of Lauren and her music, these developments were a huge disappointment. After all, it's not like they had a lot of music to enjoy from her either. In 2002, she released the live album MTV Unplugged No. 2.0. Many people have been anticipating the record, which marked a significant shift in her artistic journey. However, it was met with mixed responses from both critics and fans. Unlike the polished production of her debut record, this record featured an acoustic set performed live that not everyone enjoyed. Those who enjoyed the record praised Hill for her vulnerability and the emotional depth of her performance. They claimed it showed a raw and unfiltered side to her artistry. However, other people thought this rawness and departure from her previous sound were disappointing. Commercially, the album wasn't anywhere near as successful as her debut, which also led to Hill disappearing from the spotlight. At the same time, there was a buzz around the potential reunion of the Fugees. The sheer excitement for this reunion was clear, as fans were hoping for a return to the sound and dynamics that had made the band into a household name. But fate had other plans. The reunion was short-lived and faced numerous issues. In particular, the commercial failure of the band's comeback single, Take It Easy, caused several problems. The record just couldn't make a significant impact, and their planned tour faced numerous setbacks. If that wasn't bad enough, the band was plagued by reports of internal conflicts and disagreement. And apparently, most of them involved Hill herself. She was consistently late to shows, and her bandmates apparently reported that Hill was difficult to work with. These issues led to divisive tension within the group, which resulted to the tour being canceled. To make matters worse, their planned studio album was shelved. The fallout from this attempted reunion made Hill's public image even more complicated and contributed to her withdrawing from fame. Hill's artist evolution and the public's declining views of her during this time also led to this retreat. 
Despite this, Lauren continues to make her presence felt within the music industry, although she's more selective about it. Even though she hasn't released any new albums, she has remained active in the entertainment world. In 2021, she appeared on the song Nobody on rapper Nas's album King's Disease 2. On this track, she addressed her departure from the studio scene. Equally, in the same year, her debut record achieved another milestone. This time, it was certified diamond for selling more than 10 million copies. This made her the first female rapper ever to gain this certification. She also performed with her other Fuji band members for a Global Citizen concert in New York. This was part of their first reunion in almost 16 years. Many people will applaud that the band's celebrated dynamic, and they highlighted Hill's enduring power as a live performer. Hill also went on a 25th anniversary tour for her debut record. During the tour, Hill explained her perspective on her career and spoke about her numerous challenges. Outside of her musical career, Hill has also opened up about her personal life and decisions. So it seems pretty obvious. Although Hill may have left the spotlight, and she's unlikely to ever step back into it, she still remains an extremely successful and important figure within the music industry. No amount of retreating can ever change that.